Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. I'd like to talk to you today about the link between COVID-19 and heart disease. Firstly, there is no doubt that, that people who have an underlying cardiac condition, they've already had a heart attack, a stent or a bypass, or they're diabetic or they're obese, are at much higher risk from death from COVID-19 than people who don't have those conditions. And the figures are somewhere between a 10 to 15% death rate in people with an underlying cardiac condition or related cardiac condition, as opposed to smokers or people with chronic lung disease, where the death rate's about half that. So certainly there is an established link between cardiovascular disease and COVID-19. Now, how does, how does COVID-19 affect the heart? It affects the heart by inflaming arteries and so increasing your risk for a heart attack if you have uh, underlying cardiac issues or a high, high load of, of plaque within your arteries. Uh, it can also cause a thing called myocarditis where the heart, the heart muscle gets inflamed. It can also inflame the electrical system of the heart and set you up for things like a thing called atrial fibrillation or possibly ventricular tachycardia, which is a very, very serious heart condition. There's been a concern over a group of drugs commonly used for cardiovascular disease called ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers. Now, many people listening to, to this would be on one of these medications. These, these are drugs like Covacil, Tritase, they're the ACE inhibitors, or the angiotensin receptor blockers, Atacand, Micardis, and also Avapro or Carvia, and very, very commonly used for, for people with high blood pressure, for people with heart failure. And these are really, really important drugs. But here's the problem. The coronavirus enters the lungs via what we call ACE2 receptors. People who are taking ACE inhibitors or taking ARBs have higher rates or higher levels of these ACE2 receptors within their lungs. So theoretically, if you're on these drugs, you're at more risk from getting coronavirus. But interestingly, the studies have been done, an enormous amount of work's been done on this in the last few months since the coronavirus has been so prominent now around our world, showing that there is no increased risk for the serious complications of COVID-19 if you're taking one of these medications. And in fact, there's possibly a theor theoretically weak benefit from being on them because although they might increase the amount of ACE2 receptors in your lungs, they actually reduce the virus causing you problems. And the, the, the thing that really wipes out the lungs with the coronavirus is a thing we call cytokine storm, where the immune system goes crazy, releases all these immune chemicals into the lungs. These ACE inhibitors and ARBs reduce the amount of cytokine storm you have. So firstly, if you are on one of these medications, please do not stop them, because if you do, you may deteriorate your cardiac condition, put your blood pressure through the roof, send yourself into serious heart failure and die from this issue. I said on TV at the start of the, the virus a few months ago that if people are so concerned about their health and security, they should stop stockpiling toilet paper but start stockpiling fruit and vegetables and exercise equipment because one person dies every 12 minutes from cardiovascular disease. Do not stop going to see your doctor with your chronic cardiac conditions because you might be concerned about catching the coronavirus if you go out. It's vitally important you maintain your medications, you maintain your contact with your doctor because the cardiovascular disease and its complications are a much greater risk for death for anyone than is the coronavirus. That's the checkup. We'll talk with you next week.